let's start our study of light and shade with the moon. The moon is like a sphere. It receives most of its illuminance or lighting directly from the sun. The sun is so large and so far away that for now, we are going to think of it as a simple direction of light. Right now, our moon is being lit from the front as if we are the sun. Notice that our moon has some local coloration of its own. In other words, just like the clothing you're wearing, it has its own color. It's not perfectly white or gray. Overall, if we look carefully, we notice that it's darkening or moving into shade along the edges. What if we were to rotate the light around the moon in a perfect 360 degrees? Let's try it. Notice, as the light source circles around the moon, we get a clear light and shade, or shadow, side. Sometimes most of our moon is in light, sometimes most of it's in shade. For a brief time, our moon appears fully in light or fully in shade, or perfectly balanced, half in shade, half in light. This may remind you of the phases of the moon that we observe in the night sky throughout the lunar month. There are these light and shade patterns that we recognize, such as the crescent shape or the shape of a full moon. Speaking of patterns, in art, it's helpful to think about the light and shade sides of an object in a binary way. In other words, any point on the sphere is either in the light family or the shade family, sort of like black or white thinking. So we can choose to think of this point, this point, and this point as being on the light side or light family of the object. Whereas this point and this point and this point are all in the shade or shadow family. We can even imagine a definite line that separates these two families, almost like a border between two countries. In art, this line is called the terminator line because it indicates the termination of direct light. Here it is represented in yellow. Because the moon is like a sphere, the terminator line in this case is always shaped like a circle. As we know, a circle seen from any angle other than front on appears as an ellipse. So in this case, as we rotate our light source around the moon, the terminator line is always shaped like an ellipse that rotates around a pivot point at the center of our moon sphere. So what exactly causes this effect to happen? Why is the shape of the terminator line on a sphere always an ellipse? Let's look at the scene from another angle. 